and Kyle has uh, agreed to say a few words on behalf of the group. So, Kyle. The biggest challenge that I face in life is opening up to others and expressing my emotions. The way I see it, everything is easier and everyone is happier if our feelings are kept to ourselves. But how can we truly discover who we are if we hide what we feel? My six years with the Tim Hortons Children's Foundation camps have taught me that without being vulnerable, one cannot grow or overcome our obstacles and boundaries in life. Since my first summer at camp, I have conquered my fears of failure, gained confidence in my leadership abilities, and learned to appreciate the gifts that every individual has to offer. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and fellow Youth Leadership Program graduates. My name is Kyle Nualo, and I'm an 18-year-old high school student from Toronto, Ontario. I was chosen to attend Tim Hortons residential camp at Kentucky in Kentucky when I was 12 years old. By this age, I had successfully mastered the art of presenting to the world a facade. I had learned how to suppress my emotions and display the image of happiness. It did not bother me that my mother had married a man who did not contribute to our family and household. It did not bother me that my mother and sister could not coexist. Nor did it bother me that we had been evicted from our home of six years, the only place that I had found stability and comfort. This was the only neighborhood and community that I had grown to belong to and love. However, another community soon welcomed me with open arms and abundant love and support, the Tim Horton Children's Foundation. My summer at Camp Kentaten was a dynamic new experience, to say the least. I had trained myself to not become excited about situations and was immensely overwhelmed when I was met with warmth, enthusiasm, and encouragement teeming from the pores of camp staff. I had never experienced instant acceptance as such from complete strangers. These strangers would soon become my family. The camp was a family that taught me to play, laugh, love, and listen to others, and to myself. That summer at residential camp reminded me what it meant to be a kid, while promoting personal growth and discovery. I was thrown into a new environment with kids of all ages that did not look or think or talk the same way I did. That summer we canoed, sang, and swam into the hearts of one another, while the camp swam into mine. After returning home from camp, I learned that my family would be moving and I would have to start a new school year for my grade eight year. Learning to communicate with a cabin group of seven other girls helped me to confidently build friendships within my new school. I laughed more, listened more, and took more chances. Camp had affected me in one way or another and I was eager to feel that comfort in my life again. The Discovering Leadership Program, also known as Leadership Level One, enabled me to find my voice within a group, especially through activities such as Leader of the Day. I learned to be patient and listen to others while taking part in team building activities and low rope challenges. I discovered my connection to nature this session staying on Onondaga Farms. This is a feat that would be quite tricky living in a city as big as Toronto. Discovering leadership came at an opportune time for me as I would be entering high school in the fall where I could translate what I learned and apply it to tackling this new stage in my life. The greatest enlightenment came during my three years of tripping in the youth leadership program. My home life continued to transform as did the levels of the YLP. Both confronted me and forced me to search within myself for elements that I did not know were there. Tripping was a brand new idea that frightened me. No showers, no toilets, and what was a portage? Tripping for three consecutive summers left me reaping profound rewards physically, mentally, and emotionally. Living in the wilderness with eight people from different walks of life can condition you for any situation thereafter. 
I learned to be patient, sharing, and extremely comfortable in the person I was and who I was becoming. The portaging pushed me to my physical and mental limits and led me to feel the most profound sense of achievement. Teamwork was demonstrated in more ways imaginable as my cabin group worked together day after day to complete tasks from sun up to sun down. I witnessed and participated in the most exhilarating expression of teamwork when we climbed Silver Peak. Never have I seen a group of people push each other towards success like we did that day. As I stood atop that peak in Killarney Provincial Park, some 1,700 feet above ground, I felt the weight of the world lifted off my shoulders. I could only visualize my hopes, my goals, and my dreams in the sprawling skyline. My final step in the youth leadership program, planning for success, was bittersweet. It was amazing to reflect on the wonderfully diverse people I've met, the lessons I've learned, and the stories I've heard and shared. During my last session, ever, I face my fears of the future by setting goals and accomplishments to reach. I'm so glad that this could be achieved with fellow campers who have experienced vibrant journeys just as I have. Our journeys would not be possible without this phenomenal Tim Horton Children's Foundation, all of its staff, and especially the counselors who sacrifice a magnitude to ensure that we take as much possible from the camp experience. They truly make the difference. I'm eternally grateful for the foundation and the people who made it possible for me to be here, to be a part of this legacy. I'd like to thank my formal principal, Julio Souza, for nominating me for 10 days one summer, and my amazing store owners, Emily Mays and Jason St. Croix, for sending me back year after year. This camp community has taken me as a fearful child and molded me into the positive young woman that I am today. I'm currently in my final year of high school at Mary Ward Center for Self-Directed Learning in Toronto. My school challenges me to exercise discipline and take initiative on a daily basis. These are two skills that my years at camp have instilled in me. Because of camp, I truly believe that I am capable of completing this school journey with outstanding success, just as I have done with all of my camp experiences. After graduation, I plan to attend university in the fall for international business management. I am confident in my abilities as a leader, and I am ready to conquer all obstacles presented to me. This is all thanks to the Tim Horton Children's Foundation. You will hold a place in my heart always. A wise man once told me that camp is a rainbow, and the rest of the world is black and white. Camp has crafted colors of hope, confidence, and happiness in my life. I would love to share that picture with the world. Thank you. Congratulations to the Youth Leadership Program graduates of 2010. It is time for us to start painting. Thank you. <laughs>